The monarch butterfly starts with a tiny egg that is found on a milkweed leaf. In a few days after being laid, the egg hatches into a larva or caterpillar. At that point, the larva is only 1 25th of an inch long and develops a natural defense system to the toxicity of the milkweed, which is poisonous to birds. So the monarchs, which are birds' natural predator, are left alone. The caterpillar eats milkweed for about the next two weeks and molts five times. Once it reaches an inch or so in size, it eats nonstop until it is about two inches long and 2,700 times its original weight. After the eating spree, it climbs to the top of a container to form its chrysalis or cocoon. The caterpillar then weaves a silky web that is almost invisible and attaches itself. The caterpillar initially hangs in the form of a J, but after about 15 to 20 hours, it straightens and molts for the last time and turns into a lime-colored chrysalis or cocoon. This is one of the more fascinating aspects of the whole process. As the chrysalis hardens into a green case, gold dots appear on it. This is the skin from the caterpillar. The chrysalis then hangs motionless for 9 to 11 days. The last day or so the chrysalis darkens and near the time it emerges the monarch can be seen through the casing. Shortly thereafter the chrysalis splits and the butterfly emerges. At first, their wings are soft, flexible, and wet. Then it starts transferring fluid from its plump stomach to the wings.
Almost immediately, the butterfly will test its proboscis by rolling it in and out. The proboscis is extended when they eat and then rolled up when not feeding. I was curious to know how long it took for the wings to become full size. The entire time is not shown here, but it took nine minutes in this case. After it is full size, it must hang vertically for several hours to let its wings dry. If they fall and are unattended for any length of time, their wings will stick together or crease, resulting in their inability to fly, even though still alive. The wings are dry when they start opening and closing them while still hanging, but they soon drop to the bottom of the container. At that point, they are transferred to a bigger screen cage. Monarchs usually emerge in the morning, and if a nice day, I release them that afternoon, but if that is not the case, they are kept for a day or two. If kept, they need to be fed a solution of honey or sugar and water once a day. Note the proboscis is extended eating the sweetened solution. Several monarchs are shown in a larger cage. This is my granddaughter, Erin, releasing a monarch that she and her mom raised. The metamorphosis from the egg to the larva or caterpillar to the pupa or chrysalis and eventually to the monarch is truly amazing and reminds one of the awesomeness of our Creator. <laughs>